should be a total ban on all religious activities in Nigeria. Pastors are just after money. We are naturally forced to ask why is it taking this long for a ban to be placed on religious activities, at least to drastically reduce the spread of the deadly coronavirus. Not until now, the Lagos state government has finally placed a paint cease ban on religious activities involving more than 50 people. But what has been most astonishing is that the so-called religious leaders have needed to probably hear from God before they tell their congregations to temporarily stay away from church activities so that the safety of the people is guaranteed to a larger extent. It was reported that a man tested positive to this COVID-19 in Lagos despite never leaving this country in his entire life. This is a clear indicator that the man in question must have come to contact with a career in a public place and they both have, have met. They have met hundreds of people who must have come in contact with them. Effortlessly spreading this virus to the nooks and crownings of the state, it is most disturbing that in this contemporary era, where religious leaders have a good hold of their members, such informations have not been relayed. And there is no doubt that the reason for this decision that has been taken, offering and sites, with a scary spread of this coronavirus that has altered bigger economics in the world, including China, USA, England, France, Germany, Italy, and so on. We should only pray that this spread does not overwhelm our shoes. Before now, we were given an affirmative on how we undoed the Ebola outbreak some years ago and how the relevant authorities were able to contain the diseases which was said to be deadlier than the coronavirus. Yet, the casualties reported in the entire country was so small. We are a religious country, no doubt about that. But we seem to always place the cats before the us. Worse still, we downplay the effort of a situation and believe that meta metaphysical powers which stem from our prayers will solve our problems. Even when it is glaring that the solution to such a problem is common sense. Well, common sense isn't common anymore. Truth be told, I believe in the power of prayers and the significance of respecting and believing in religion. The only carnage here is that Nigerians are refused to take away reality from religious fantasies. And this singular act has taken us has taken us light years backward. It is like going to a rail track and jumping in front of a moving train, believing that Jesus will make it impossible for the train to eat you. Let me shock you. It will eat you definitely. Our pastors and imams are every, are every other and every other religious leaders have responsibility to guide a right the block entrusted to them and they have a bigger obligation to tell them the truth at all times warning them against impending dangers even at the expense of tithe and offerings and encouraging them to foster a better relationship with God rather than the eye service religious which seems more like which is more like hypothesis rather than religious in a typical nigerian church for example what we see today is nothing short of conventional stupidity rather than religion religion was brought to us as a guide to contain the as essences of the african man 
make him descend as well as enlighten him that there is a supreme being that has laid down certain principles which we make ahead or which we may ahead to and also to live a life worth emulating. According to a 2011 PEM report, over 80 million Nigerians are Christians. Among Christians, about a quarter are Catholic members. Three quarters are, uh, are Protestants and about 750,000 belongs to other Christians. Denominations and a few if, if, and the denomination and a few of them are anti dot Christians. In Nigeria today, there are tens of thousands of churches with Lagos having the highest number as it is in their home to about 20 million Nigerians. These members don't reflect our Christendom and we can't push a large shock of the blame to pastors, priests, imam, shepherd, and so on and so forth, who have diverted the co-member, who have diverted co-messages of the gospel for millions of guides. It is this same country with the highest number of churches. It is this same country that rank highest in terms of corruption, killing, banditry, and all sorts of vices known to man. So what is the religious force about? Now, coronavirus has knocked everyone back to reality. And it amazes me that when I hear churches make it or making it a prayer point that the virus won't come near any of their family members, these sort of prayers, these sort of prayer points are just ridiculous and negative at that Christianity represents this ridiculous acts even the holy book says that faith without work is dead there are a number of guidelines that the citizen have, have to adhere to in order to stay safe this period the floating such in the midst of this pandemic pandemic is like walking into a fire cover your nose wash your hands in in and out of seasons eat food to build a strong immune system and maintain a good social distance which can ultimately be at work in a supermarket at the bus stop in a bus or in a, in a church the church has to be boldly written because it is the last resort of christians and most, Christ, most Nigerians cannot do without visiting the church at least twice in a week. The, number of, the numbers of times in a week may not be so threatening as compared to the fact that we spend most time in the, in the week at work. But the church is a place where the, where the gathering is usually huge and the shaking of hands and all that gesture is more common. Churches can be easy roads where this virus can spread to and it will be deadly if one person in a gathering of 1,000 con contracts or 1,000 contract this virus, it can easily be spread among several others which will take it to their respective homes and communities till it becomes an uncontrollable menace. In Lagos, for example, the government is right to have banned religious gatherings of over 50 people, but it is still not enough. There should be no religious gathering whatsoever till this menace is put behind us. Looking at it from another perspective, this might have been just a perfect venue to create a personal relationship with God in our perspective homes and away from the loud shouts in the church. This coronavirus may just be a blessing in disguise for Nigerians. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? This is a nice statement, a nice word from um, this pastor 
from Nigerians. Fine, there should be a total ban on all religious activities in Nigeria. There should be this um this words, this statement that has been altered here, and the advice has been given. It's something that we should adhere to. That is it. We should abide by this word. According to what the word of God says, prayer and faith without work is dead. When we do something, when we go, when we go against something, or when we do something, whatever we put our hands into, will prosper. Now they are telling us what to prevent us, what will prevent us from contacting this COVID-19 coronavirus. That what we need is to always wash our hands. We should be mindful of those that we shake hands with. We shouldn't even shake hands with anybody. Because nobody that, that, that is not aware of this coronavirus in this country, nobody will, will even want to shake hands with you. So we should prevent ourselves from shaking hands. We should prevent ourselves from, let us wash our hands regularly. Let us wash our hands regularly. So to prevent us from this outbreak, to prevent us from these diseases, that has been rallying, rallying around the country. Truth be told, I believe that in the power of prayers and the significance of respecting and believing in religion, the only person that can, answer, that can solve this issue is God Almighty. He's the only one that can save us from this mess, can save us from these diseases. But they say prevention is better than cure. Let us do according to what is been told we have been told let us always wash our hands that's the solution to prevent these diseases from coming to us fine we are christians we pray to god that god we, this disease will never come near our dwellings but we are not making move we are not uh, adhering to what the word of god says and that will definitely destroy nigerians so let us prevent ourselves from all these things happening in our country. These diseases that is flowing around the community, it's something that God can wipe out, wipe out of this country. I believe that with God, all things are possible. With God. All things are possible. So, viewers, with what you have heard, do you think banning um, religious activities in Nigeria is the best thing to do? Do you think banning this church activity totally is the next thing to do in order for this virus not to be controlled by us? What is your take on this? What is your comment? What is your contributions? If you have any, please don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to receive notifications whenever I publish any new video.